nothing worth having in life comes easy you need to work hard if you're a good speaker you'll have a much higher success ratio you cannot learn swimming by reading a book take chances take risks only this will make you shine like the brightest stars Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Gen Z Guidebook, where depth meets dialogue. Today we are here with a very awaited and a very big celebrity of Presidency College, Mr. M. C. Abbas. Thank you, sir. Thank you for being here with us today. I would start by asking you a very, you know, generic question, and everyone's interested in knowing that. How did you get your nickname, or you know, the most famous name that you're called by, by M. C. Abbas? Like, how did you get that? I think that's a fantastic question to start with, Solanki. Firstly, thank you very much, Presidency and Gen Z Guidebook, for having me on your show. Uh, well, M. C. Yes, it became synonymous with my name. M. C. stands for Master of Ceremonies, which means anchor, compere, announcer, somebody who's on stage, who is the master of ceremonies. That is how the name came through. and it's been a journey of about uh, two decades that have been almost two decades in the industry that is how it is mc abbas he has a list of huge achievements and i think if i start reading it out 30 minutes will be over and like sir you were the be- awarded with best anchor of ipl you have gone to tedx speakers and all that so what inspired you to join that journey or that lane as a kid i always loved being on stage i used to enjoy that journey always you know beat during the assembly the monday assembly and so on and so forth uh, it was my teachers at my school who gave me a great platform in uh, during the school time so that one thing led to the other and i uh, became a tedx speaker a four time tedx speaker and uh, won a couple of awards god has been very kind i think there needs to be a spark of an interest in every single individual once you identify your talent and you work towards it you become a niche in your segment you have been teaching dsa right so they ha- they have young talent in them they are very young talented people the thing is but then they are very scared to you know even go for this you know journey that you know yeah i want to be an anchor full time anchor they would rather do it part time so you know would you like what would you say to those kind of students that you know what should they do best way to start is part time there are no two ways about it and those with interest you cannot learn swimming by reading a book you cannot learn swimming by theory you have to jump into the pool the river the ocean that is when you learn it so the same thing i'd like to advise those who want to get into public speaking media anchoring they need to do a full time or a part time i started my journey part time you know my book way shortly which i will launch it's called auto to audi my journey from st- traveling a bus and an auto reaching my event for big bazaar 18 years back where i was paid hardly 500000 rupees from that journey till reaching here it shows how i was independent i didn't want to take money from home i wanted to be a self made man i think if people know you know especially the young generation the gen z the students today if they doing the college hours after that they can definitely do it as a part time and that will lead them on for bigger avenues you start small i started my journey from traveling in buses and autos and at the age of 23 i was able to buy my own dream car which is audi if i could do it you're all humans too you can do it too i've always believed no dream too big it's about how much you have within you to give it to your dream there needs to be a certain sense of hunger to win to acclaim and let me tell you nothing worth having in life comes easy you need to work hard really hard without which you will not even be able to pass your exam with the result so absolutely go ahead part time full time however you wish to do if you have the passion if you have the gift of the gap if you are a good speaker and people tell you that you are a fantastic presenter like i've seen great talent here in presidency go for it don't think don't procrastinate take the leap of faith and give wing to your dreams the next thing that would go around is that you know there are a lot of students who you know like are questioning that you know we are studying already as you said they should start part time they start questioning that you know what should we do how will we manage the time and you know like we after a whole day of college i don't have the energy to do a part time and all that so what would you tell to those kind of students you know if it's a priority you will know how to make time 
I am sure if the students or anybody in general want something, if it is important enough, you will make time. I don't have time, I'm busy with college, these are all excuses. You know leaders, achievers, dreamers are not born out of excuses. If you want to do something, do it. If you can't, don't. If it's important for you, you will do it no matter what. The rest are all excuses and excuses are no good. This is a beautiful saying, surround yourself with doers, achievers, believers and then see things happen, great things happen. If you make excuses, you're only going to be held back and that's not the way to go. You need to be strong enough to take your decision and tread the path ahead. So now we are right now in a generation where the generation is very much into social media and every other student wants to be an influencer, right? So how, and as you are one of the major influencers in Bangalore, what would you suggest to those people like you know ki as as students how should they start or you know what is the thing that sh they should do to become a proper influencer i believe that you know to be a good influencer it's not enough to just have couple of uh, followers and likes and subscription no you need to be a true influencer in the truest essence when you speak that needs to make a difference your words need to hold that kind of weight there's a saying, baat mein wazan honi chahiye, shaksiyat mein wazan honi chahiye. You need to have a personality to drive the people. That is very important. Also know a cause. I know some fantastic influencers who fight for a cause. You need to have a cause. You need to identify your particular space which you could excel in. There are content creators, there are influencers. It could be speaking, it could be public speaking or it could be any form of talent or art. You are able to present and connect with the masses through social media. That is the way ahead. I'd say start small. I'm sure most of you have account in Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, everywhere else. Start small. Work on building your brand. Present yourself as a brand. And then, you know, you never know. Lady might, luck might strike your hard work and you could go up the wings. You have won a lot of awards, a lot of, you know, very renowned awards, of course. But what is that one memory that, you know, like you hold very close to your heart that, you know, that makes you think that, yes, I have reached it or, you know, this made me, you know, I was working so hard and that gave you that recognition, such one kind of such memory. I have over 200 international national state awards uh, to my credit. Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam Memorial Excellence Award, which I received as a youth icon that will hold a very special place in my heart. Also, Niccolo Macquelli very beautifully says, it is not titles that honor men, it is men that honor titles. Titles don't honor you. It is you with your hard work and your excellence, you are able to award the title. That is something very important. But coming to the crux of your question, over 200 awards won, but nothing, nothing bigger than the moment your parents feel proud of you. I'll tell you a recent instant. My alma mater is Christ University and I was invited there at the 54th alumni day. It had um, presence of my mum, my dad and receiving an award, the Distinguished Alumni Award 2024, one of the most prestigious awards in state of Karnataka in India. My mom, dad right there in front of me. What is most important than the award was the twinkle in their eyes, the shine and the smile in their eyes. This is my son. Ye mera beta hai, jisne jita hai. I think the biggest award is when your parents feel proud of you. They tell you, son, we're proud of you. Some parents might not be vocally telling you, but you know it when they smile, when the way they look at you, you know you have achieved. I think the biggest award, the biggest achievement is making my parents proud. No award comes close to it. Not even Padma Shri. <laughs> that is so true and of course a lot of parents wish their you know children to be very successful and when it happens it's a different moment so the next question that i would go with is that the art of speaking mm -hmm. and you're a master of it i mean look at sir how the way he speaks and it's just charming so the art of speaking is something that i think that a lot of people need to learn everyone who has to go forward in their life they need to learn how to present themselves, how to, you know, as you said, they should have a personality that should attract people. So how do they start? Like, can they start by reading books or how should they start it? Try and take stage as much as you can. Try and read a lot of books. Books is gives you wings. Knowledge is the only thing you take to your grave. 
read as much as you can watch videos of great speakers of the world watch videos which turn you alive and get you that spark of being on stage take stage as much as you can it could be in your school college university your job anywhere practice makes you perfect you want to strive and achieve excellence the only pursuit is practice before i became a good speaker you know even ladies and gentlemen i used to say it like over 100 times in front of the mirror till i got it right oh, ladies and gentlemen so that is how you do it it's the pursuit of excellence which matters every day every bit that you put in that results in a very big way in the same reason why winston churchill once said oratory you know the skill of speaking oratory is a skill that can turn a commoner into a king that if our respective audience and viewers are able to understand nothing like it if you see some of the greatest leaders in the world they've all been fantastic orators oratory is a skill that not only masters you in your college school job level but everywhere if you're a good speaker you'll have a much higher success ratio than many others and it doesn't mean only one language not just one language it could be any language i know some fantastic speakers who speak in urdu hindi tamil malayalam kannada all of that so it's a skill you need to master language doesn't matter now we will focus on the sir, tedx things so yes. as you have been one of the very renowned tedx speakers what was the most favorite topic that you spoke on undoubtedly the art of anchoring i spoke about you know how to be a good anchor how an anchor is the heart of the event all those who are aspiring to be ted speakers you know it's very important that you become able it's very important that you build your brand your profile and then i'm sure some of the best universities or uh, tedx uh, podiums will have the honor of uh, hosting you as a speaker so that was an enriching one i have a good news to share with you that my first tedx talk at vit velour the velour institute of technology one of the best in india so my dearest friend who is the vice chairman of uh, presidency mr suhail ahmed he was with me during the journey to vit velour he was also there witness to my tedx talk so this was about 7 8 years back so that was my first tedx talk and since then i have given about 4 tech talks and many more to come dozens more to come definitely and dozens more that we are waiting for so we'll end this by asking one thing is that what is that one quote will or a moral that you go with and you would never break and you will always follow this is beautiful quote i'd say um, by josh malehabadi which i always repeat for the young guns the gen z's manzile unhi ko milti hain jinke sapno mein jaan hoti hai pankhon se kuch nahi hota hauslon se udan hoti hai not just that i truly believe that langston hughes very beautifully says this hold fast to dreams for if dreams die life is a broken winged bird that cannot fly if you are able to decipher this nothing like it you can give wing to your dreams and fly and roar in the skies that is the best way ahead to go also if you know you know if you see my journey closely i started off as an anchor and then 2018 i ran for elections i was the youngest mla candidate then and um, i happened to be watched by the national media that led me to the brand i am today so all i'd like to say is take chances take risks only this will make you bigger this will make you shine like the brightest stars so don't let anybody stop you don't let anybody tell you that you can't do something if you want to be a good speaker or a motivational speaker the best way to go ahead is have a dream have a goal meet them and ensure that you take a leap of faith and make every single dream and word of yours come true that's the way ahead definitely a very beautiful ending thank you sir thank you for being uh, on our podcast and stay tuned there will be more videos such inspiring videos for all of you thank you